Chattogram, Bangladesh's second largest city, is bisected by the Karnapuli River with the city center and airport on the west bank. The two river banks are currently connected mostly by one bridge, limiting the development in the east as well as in southern cities. But since the tunnel project's launch in 2017, this is about to change. As the first underwater traffic tunnel to be built in Bangladesh and South Asia, it's believed that the project will help boost the development of the country's second largest city and is named after the nation's founding father, former president, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mojibar Rahman. Zhang He is among the first Chinese employees on the project since 2017. With the tunnel now in its final stage, Zhang is busier than usual, engaging in extensive discussions with on-site engineers. He says he's emotional, looking at the tunnel and remembering memories of the challenging early days and tough questions he once faced. As an underground project, we had to do a lot of preparation in the early stages. The project started in 2017 and a tunneling machine arrived to dig the tunnels in 2018. There was more than a year in between when the local government didn't see much construction. They would worry if the project would be left unfinished. Ultimately, the company earned Bangladesh's trust with high-quality construction. The entire route is over 9 kilometers in length, with the tunnel making up a third of it. The Shio Tunnel has a double track and four lanes, with a diameter of 11.8 meters and a design speed of 80 kilometers per hour. It follows Chinese standards and techniques, so in many aspects, it resembles tunnels in China, including a central digital platform that monitors and controls conditions inside the tunnel, such as traffic flow. Once complete, it slashes airport east side travel from two hours to just 15 minutes, a joint achievement of both nations. Osman Uding, one of over 5,000 Bangladeshi employees, now drives on the new expressway, witnessing the area's transformation firsthand. The country believes the tunnel will attract more investment to the East Bank and is planning to build an industrial belt in the region. Osman is proud of contributing to the development of his hometown. I've gained a lot of experience working on this tunnel project. I'm proud of our work here. It will be beneficial to the people from both the West Banga Panaga and East Banga Anwara. This October, the tunnel will be officially handed over to Bangladesh already standing as a local landmark. Some believe it does more than connect to riverbanks. It also bridges the hearts of people from both nations. First time I see this place is not good. Now it is so beautiful place. Wubin, CGTN, Chattogram, Bangladesh.